Hello you guys, good morning. I'm so excited about today because I'm doing the long awaited closet clean out slash styling session with Danny. We've been trying to plan this for a few weeks. I'm so excited because Danny's amazing at styling. She has her own little vintage shop. If you guys have not shopped it, you need to because they have the cutest like original pieces, thrifted pieces. Anyway, she just has such good style. She always looks so cute. She has been helping just like some of her friends and potentially I think some clients will have to ask her when we go in my room. She's in my room right now. Um, with styling pieces and doing like closet cleanouts and kind of figuring out a way to reuse pieces. I feel like that's always really hard for me. Like once I wear a certain item in a certain way, I'm just like, oh, that's how I wear it. And I forget that there's like other ways and like other other things I can do to style it and kind of reuse it in a new way. So I've purged a lot of clothes recently and I was telling her I feel like I really have gotten rid of so much stuff. Now that we're kind of transitioning into fall, I feel like there's more stuff I could get rid of and I just want to like find new ways to style the things that I already have, maybe make a little shopping list for some things I need and just learning new ways to accessorize and kind of make an outfit go from being maybe boring or basic to something really cute. So anyway. I'm super excited for today. I feel like it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey. She picked us up some chais. This is actually a London Fog, which she just introduced me to. It's super good. I put this towel down because I don't wanna like, you know, get a watermark on it or something. But anyway, I was like, okay, welcome to the chaos. My room is a little bit cleaner than it has been, but you know, there's still shiz everywhere. My personal stylist. <laughs> Finding a way to style these cute Zara pants. These Steve Madden boots, which I love. Or the other option is the pink, oh, they're both Steve Madden. Barbie heel things. So these are both really cute vibes. Not with this shirt. We're thinking like a big chunky sweater or cardigan. Okay, I have had these vintage brown pants. They literally fit me like a glove and I'm obsessed with them. I've had them for so long, like over a year for sure. Maybe even going on two years, I don't know. But I just like have not found a way to style them. They're also way too long so i need to get them tailored i'm on my tiptoes right now but this is a mariposa top that i had bought from a while ago and it actually pairs so cute with this and then we're thinking once i get these tailored and they're the right length i can wear some like chunky boots danny's grabbing a blazer right now for me to see if that would be cute we got all the fall stuff, we got all the fall stuff on lock we're so excited Woo! oh that okay here's the moment of truth <laughs> I have had this also. I got it vintage, like in LA, and I've, you know, I'm going for Haley Bieber. Yeah, one thousand percent. But it's like, am I literally? No. See my TikTok where I'm like in the suit cut. <laughs> like, am I that man? This might not be the right color. And okay. Um. Yeah. Fifty Shades of Brown. You what? I said Fifty Shades of Brown. Yeah, yeah. She is a brown gal. She's a brown gal. It like could be cool. Have you put? She don't like it for us when everything on is stained with salt tanner. <laughs> okay. Oh, sis. Okay. okay. That's cool. Wait, think... wait. So we have like a casual look right. with the polka dot top. And then this is a little bit more like Hailey Bieber. I love yeah. it. Let me show in the mirror. Yes. Cute. She's taking my um, photos like Kim K. Also, <laughs> you guys, what the? I don't know what happened to my eye. Awesome, an allergic reaction. Look at this little moment. Neutral, classy, chic. You know, these need to be tailored, but once they're tailored. Time for my photo. Time for the photo, girl. Uh, we are here for it. Amazing. Look at this, see? We're making progress. We're making cute stuff out of stuff we already have. It's like out of absolute trash. And that. Okay. Literally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> JC's new, <laughs> new favorite pair of pants. Literally. And like even imagine you could do a hat. Like do you have any like Baseball neutral hats? hats? You know I do. Oh, she's a staple. She is a staple. Is it still for sale? I know. No, it's sold out right now and I'm really <laughs> struggling. If y'all want it, let me know. Do we I'll need to bring this hat I'll back? Bring it back for you Say guys. yes. <laughs> Top cute. So yeah, like, top. Tuck, one thousand percent. So it's like, do I have to wear the boots every time? <laughs> <laughs> um, we could. I mean, this is the cute. boots are a moment, honestly. If they're shorter, mm -hmm. like a little white sneaker. Also, that's the other thing. We should add to the list. I only have one. I only have white Air Force ones. Mm. That's literally all I own for sneakers right now. Well, first of all, I really want like the high or like 
you know the like colorful Nike like yeah I'm Jordan. just you want a Jordan yes <laughs> So bad. I have to get her a Jordan. I have to. I've been oh like buying so gosh. many colors, like a green and a blue. I'm like, oh. oh. I feel like I need a white sneaker yeah. as well. Like a white sneaker. Like a Reebok or like, I don't know what. Ooh, it's more vintage. I just saw a really cute, like, okay. I know what sneaker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you going to write it down? Mm-hmm. Because I'm going to forget. I wrote it down, girl. Uh, a lot of my jeans are like, I feel like I've like just gained like weight and muscle and so mm. a lot of them I feel like are not super comfy they're like just very Sorry, like these jeans. ones are more are those comfy oh that's you think awesome. you think that Zara jeans are normally no. comfy no really they're literally cardboard oh I these mean. are like I think maybe I just like size up so yeah, that's why like, that's because they're just like comfy and loose okay yeah they look perfect cute See, it's like stuff like this. Should I cut it? Or do I just like, yeah. No, so cute. Yeah, Little really cute. shoulder bag. Mm -hmm. Action. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. That's a white cute. 2K. But then it's like, what shoes am I wearing with this? What shoes? Because all I would think is my Air Force ones. Because that's like all the, my neutral. Like, I'm literally standing on a towel because my floors are filthy and I'm my feet are going to be black after this. This will be a moment for some, like, Jordans. But 100%. She keeps grabbing stuff. She's like, these pants are perfect. I'm like, those are lace. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Just grabbed lace, curb Nike. She's like, these. I'm like, sis, you think I have clown feet? Cute. Okay, those so also fit you perfect. Yes. Yeah. I feel like they're cool. Yeah, they're so cool. Again, like, those and the first ones are just like staples. staples. So it's like, if you wear like a cute crop top right. or. With those, I would probably just do crop so you can see the yeah. thing. Cute. These are really cute fit. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Yeah. I love the hearts. They're super fun. Okay, I just want to see to get the vibes. It might not be 100% right. We'll see. Honestly, cute. Honestly, it's cute. That's so cute. I like that for a little fall moment. Slouchy. Slouchy cute. and chill. Yeah. I also feel like, you know what else? I like don't do enough that I feel like also changes things is like your hair. Yes. Big like braid your hair oh, or like put it in a ponytail. Like a with, little bun. Yeah. And like bun. slick back. Yeah. yeah. I, I like agree. How slouchy the pants are. Same. So it's like with this, what shoes do you think I'd wear? I would do like a sneaker. Okay. Um, just because I like the slouchiness of the mm -hmm. pant with like a sneaker. So you could do your Air Force Ones or like a Jordan or any new sneaker I think would be cute. Okay. You don't have a black blazer, do you? I have that black leather oh, one. Oh, the that black leather one. one. Ooh! <laughs> Who is she? We love it. I kind of actually, like sometimes when I put black on, I'm like, I don't know why I never wear black. black. Like, I actually think it's cute. Daisy, this is kind of epic. You like it? I'm obsessed. You like it with my new Jordans? Oh, -hoo -hoo. I can wear this with the cardigan. Yeah. Or like casual, go to yeah. the beach, wear this to like, you know, be a little cooler, a little yeah. cuter. I like, like it. more street style. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, these are kind of cute. I've literally never worn these. Wow. See, I just forget about stuff that's in my closet. It's so cute. It's, it's, <gasps> never it's like my hair. Stacy. <gasps> I'm deceit. Wait, yeah. I really like that. What about like with that boot? Like all of a sudden I'm excited for fall. Same. Like give me a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. I haven't even drink it, but I'm ready. Take me to the pumpkin patch and bake me an apple pie. I'm ready for fall. I love this. Like no, 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 no. I hate them. <laughs> okay, these are gonna be an absolute no for me as well. I love for those. So, this shirt is an example of something that I was like, oh, I might just get rid of it because I always wear it with like a swimsuit underneath and we're transitioning into fall. But, this is really cute with these pink jeans. Let me show you the sneakers. And these little pink Air Force Ones. I don't have the other shoe on. But, from summer to fall, I feel like this is really cute. An all neutral look. We have the staple Mariposa hat again. I think it's so cute. We could do with or without the hat. But these pants are really cute. They're from Urban. Got them a while ago. This light is a little tricky right now. But it's just some white sneakers. An all neutral vibe. I think this is so, so cute. I was just telling her. I feel like Matilda. You guys already know who I'm talking about. 
She's fashion inspo, and I feel like she wears like pants like this kind of oh a lot. Oh my god, I literally thought you meant Matilda, the movie, the little girl. I did Danny! not get it. Danny! I did not get it. I was like, <laughs> literally, I'm like, oh, I feel awesome like Matilda. <laughs> Danny just rolls with it. I'm like, for sure. I'm screaming. We love Matilda. Okay, so we just went through my purses. Here are the purses I'm keeping for fall that I feel like will be really cute to transition into fall and stuff. And we're making piles of stuff I'm getting rid of to kind of just pare everything down more. Going through hats. more stuff I'm getting rid of and it feels so good we went through my whole closet and just picked out stuff that we're not really gonna work for transitioning into fall or that I was just kind of over so here's the updated closet here are all of my pants that I have we have a bunch of sweatshirts and sweat sets and then t-shirts and like button-ups and stuff and then some tanks and then we went through all of this stuff up here and got rid of just a bunch of like hats that I don't wear, swimwear like you saw, other stuff. So everything is nice and organized. We also went through my shoes, freed up some space there. Yeah, you're scary. <laughs> I don't know how to use one of these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, she good. Oh, not me actually. Oh, is she fuzzy? Yeah, she's kind of fuzzy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Moment of truth. Wow. It's so cute. It's really so cute. You guys, this is for my office. <gasps> it's so cute. This is turned over. Wow. So <gasps> I love it. It's going to be so cute. Let's see if it's soft. Ooh. Comfy. I got a facial yesterday. So I'm not going to wear any makeup today because I'm kind of trying to let my face rest. It felt so good. I went to Facial Lounge, which I used to go to when we lived in Orange County. I only went a few times before we moved to LA, but I really loved it. And then when I asked for facial places here, I knew a Facial Lounge, but they've like changed locations and stuff. So I was like asking for recommendations and a ton of people said Facial Lounge. So I was like, yeah, I loved it when I lived here before. So I should definitely just go back because it's so good. We just went and got some drinks from Vacancy Coffee. I got a matcha. I got it sweetened with half honey and half vanilla. It's really good. I was just telling Chelsea, we were on the phone, and I was like, I just can't find a matcha like Sun Life, which is in LA, and it's just so creamy because we'd get it with extra coconut cream. So I've yet to find like a matcha that's super, super creamy. If anyone has any recommendations, let me know because this is so good, but it's just not as creamy as I would love it to be, but it's still the taste and the flavor is really good. Anyway, my kitchen is still like such a mess. I feel like ugh, this whole moving thing, because we had so much stuff in storage, I feel like I've been just going through all of it, seeing if I even still want half of this stuff that I have. I wanna clean up my kitchen more today. Oh, fruit flies everywhere, amazing. We got some fruit sitting in the sink and there's lots of flies around here little gnat things Leif just left to get our car looked at because the like check engine light thing has been on for a little bit so we're gonna see what's up with that probably gonna have to like get a little rental car Leif was saying I'm sure I'm gonna have to leave it there so he's going to figure that situation out I really do want to like clean and organize this kitchen a little more I feel like I'm still not fully settled in this house yet just because there's still stuff everywhere like I keep trying to purge and get rid of stuff and just reorganize but it's like taking me so long so it's just like a never-ending process 
But anyway, I want to do that. And I was supposed to be going to San Diego today, actually. So Danny had to pick something up in San Diego. And she was like, I had just, I had mentioned a place to her that I'd been wanting to go. Thrift place in San Diego. And she's like, well, do you want to come? So we had plans to go to San Diego today and kind of like have a little, make a little day trip out of it. But then the person that she was supposed to pick something up from was like, actually, like, it doesn't work for you to pick it up. So we're not going today. We're going to go in a few days. But I haven't been to San Diego in so, so long. So I'm really excited. Um, I have a few places there. Well, like this one place that I've been following on Instagram for a while. That's like a furniture thrift place that I thought would be fun to go to. Um, Chelsea's going to come too. She used to live in San Diego. So she has like some food places that she's been like missing. So anyway, that'll be fun. Our mirror got delivered today. So I've been eyeing this mirror on rejuvenation it's a like furniture website they have a lot of really pretty stuff but i actually wanted this in our house like two houses ago it's really this is just this beautiful mirror and it's really big and real ones will remember our huge restoration hardware mirror it's like massive in our first like oh my gosh this was so long ago in our orange county house like three, four years ago. Um, and then Tyson took it because I was like, this does not fit in my new place. Like the ceilings were really high in the place we lived in in Orange County. And then when we moved, the ceilings were too low. I was like, this is like so, this mirror is so massive. It's going to like hit the top of the ceiling and not look like good in this space. So Tyson took the mirror like off my hands. I was like, well, if you want to come get it because he, his apartment had higher ceilings and he was like, well, I want it. I was like, okay, you can like, keep um keep watch over it until i live in like my dream house and i want it back because i'm sure i'll have higher ceilings maybe potentially so he's had it for like three or four years and it's so funny because he's just like i forget that it's mine but it's in his apartment and it looks so good so at this point i'm like maybe it should just be your mirror because obviously i'm not gonna live anywhere anytime soon where it fits so this mirror that we bought is shorter than that one but it's like really wide i'm gonna go show it to you because it just got delivered today and i have been so excited about it for so long okay so here is the mirror it's super wide like i said it's not like insanely tall but it's really just a big mirror and it just like fills the space so nicely and I think it's so pretty. This is the old mirror that was there, which is really cute. I just wanted something a little bit bigger. So this might go in my office if it fits in the office, honestly. I'm not sure if it will. I need to make this bed and get all this shiz away. We also got our washer and dryer. Finally did laundry, which was really nice because we all of our stuff needed washed. We washed the sheets last night. My comforter thing I washed. So anyway, I need to make this better now. Much, much better for now. Just got dressed and ready to go to lunch with Beth and Chelsea. We're gonna have a little what we said meeting and eat at Gracias Madre. It's so good, they have one in LA and they have one here as well, which I'm very happy about because it's one of our favorite spots. I got the Balance Boss hat. I got the, um, too much going on here, but I got a Fabletics set under this white button up and we're gonna go eat. And I feel like maybe I shouldn't be wearing this hat because it's probably gonna make me sweaty and I just washed my hair. Usually you save hats for when your hair's gross, you know what I mean? But it just looked really cute with my outfit, so stay tuned. So no, this is not staying here. This stuff is just on here randomly, but you guys, I got my first fall candle of the season. It smells so good, Harvest Spice. This is in the Magnolia section at Target. It's too heavy for me to, but it, I wish you could smell this through the phone. Just imagine the best smell you've ever smelled. Oh my gosh, yum. Doesn't that just oh, make you happy? Magnolia can do no wrong. Though. They really can do no wrong. Wow. Hey guys, look who I'm with. My mom. My mom's in town just for a few hours. She's literally here on a day trip, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So we're making the most of her time here. We are also in a truck. If you couldn't tell, this is a very large truck. Um, please, please stay up here, it won't. We're trying to get as much as we can done while she's here. We're also just trying to hang out and relax, but she's also helping me kind of with some decor stuff, figuring out where I want things in my house. Um, so we just went to the Lido Marina area. I think that's what it's called, Lido Village, something like that. It's such a cute area in Newport. I, I've i been there before, but I honestly haven't spent like a ton of time, but they have the Real Real, which is like vintage, um, like a consignment store. And then um, 
they have so many other stores. They have Aesop, but they were out of my uh, hand soap that I wanted. But anyway, we went to a bunch of fun stores. We had lunch and I just tried this matcha from Hearst Coffee. I think it's my favorite matcha so far in Orange County. It's creamy, which I was saying earlier, a lot of the ones I've been having have been like good and decent, but not super creamy. This is really good. I added vanilla to it. So anyway, I asked the girl, I said, should I get chai or matcha? And she said, ooh, our matcha is really good. And I had vanilla and I was like, okay, I want that. And now we are on our way back home. Wait, I didn't even explain why we're in the truck, did I? Our Jeep is getting worked on, so that's why we're in this truck. It's a rental car, and while we have it, we're hopefully gonna pick up some furniture that we need, like a TV stand I found. I'm really excited. I found the cutest TV stand on this website, or not website, um, this Instagram account that I follow. She has vintage stuff, and it's a place in San Diego, which is where I wanted to go with Danny and Chelsea. But ironically, so we're doing a San Diego trip tomorrow, and I'll take you guys along with us, but the reason I wanted to go to San Diego was because of this vintage shop that I wanted to go to that has a bunch of fur cool furniture. And I DM'd this girl because, the girl who owns it, because I saw this amazing TV stand that I'm really interested in. I was like, oh my gosh, can I come and pick it up tomorrow? Like, cause I have the truck and everything. Can I like claim it and pick it up tomorrow? She was like, oh my gosh, like I'm actually not open tomorrow. She's usually open on Saturdays, but she's not tomorrow because she's going to a wedding. So the whole trip that we planned that was like supposed to be a few days ago and then we couldn't and then we're like, oh, we'll just go Saturday. The place is open Saturday and blah, blah, blah. And now it's not even open. That's the sitch there. Mom wants some sidecar. What flavor are you gonna get? A little butter and salt, for sure. Maybe the lemon poppy seed? I think lemon poppy seed is a seasonal flavor right now. If so, absolutely. Update you guys, the vegan vanilla chai donut from Sidecar is super good. It tastes very fallish. It's like getting me in the spirit and it's really, really good. And then we got the other classic good flavors. Butter and salt is still the best of all time in my opinion, but. If you're vegan or if you want a vegan donut, you should definitely try it, it's so good. You guys wanna see what I got thrifting? This book for the living room shelves or a coffee table or something, it's called Visions of Paradise. It's honestly cute with the cover of it on, but it's also really cool without it. I'll show you the colors. It's just like a really pretty kind of green color with the title and then it looks like this on the side. I really like the colors. You know what really sold it for me is this. So inside, there's a little message that someone wrote and it says, Summer 86, Jerry, a summer to remember. You are my vision of paradise. To help you plan the gardens, because this is all about, this whole book is about gardens. XOXO Richard. XOXO Richard. How cute is that? Summer of 86. I love that. I love that this has history. This was given, I mean, Jerry did give this book away to a consignment store, so obviously she didn't like it that much. I loved it. I thought it was so cute, and I loved that it had that message in it, so I got that. And then I got this, just because I think the colors are really cute. I'm trying to add pops of color into this room specifically because I feel like my style has always been very neutral, which I like, and like neutral colors calm me and stuff, but I think I've told you guys on the vlogs that I want to make this room a mix of neutral and really cozy, but then also have some fun pops of color. So I've been lo loving this blue color and obviously I love pink. I just thought this was a cute little thing to put on a shelf or something. So my goal is for this room to be a mix of, like I said, neutral and cozy, but also fun. I want my office to just be super colorful and fun and kind of funky. And then I want our bedroom to be extremely neutral, zen mode, very cozy. So that's the vibe so far. I don't know what Leif wants to do with his office yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And we're actually, me and my mom are talking right now about this whole dining room situation because I do want to get a different dining room light fixture. I'll show you guys what we're doing right now. So we're looking on um, online right now at some different tables and we're thinking actually a rectangular, like longer table will work the best here. I was originally wanting just a round table, but I want to put that round mirror on the wall right there potentially because it's really the only place in this house that it will fit at this point. I don't really have another wall that's big enough and that would be good for that mirror. So we'll see if that ends up working and looks good, but we're thinking a long table. And then I already had this bench, which I didn't know where to put because again, there wasn't really a place for it in the house right now. So we're thinking potentially this could be, you know, extra seating, the long table, and then we can still use my dining room chairs, 
which are thrifted and they're just so cute. I really wanna use them if I can, if it matches with the table I get. All right, we're adding a shelf. These shelves are not styled. I'm just, we've just been putting stuff on them, but this shelving unit, it's called the Billy Bookcase at Ikea. I feel like it looks so much more high-end than Ikea. A lot of you have been asking me what it is on Instagram. I think it is so cute. So we're gonna add another shelf like all the way across just to give it some variety so that all of them aren't the exact same. I don't have that much decor, honestly, right now because I got rid of a bunch of stuff. I have this stuff and the stuff that's on there. My mom's just gonna help me kind of style the things I currently have and then I just need to probably get a few more little pieces of decor too. Okay, earlier when we were at a consignment store, I saw these leather chairs that I was obsessed with, but I was like, and they're also half price at the time, like today only, I think. And I was like, oh, I really like those. But like, I don't know if they'd work in the space. I don't know if we need them. And basically I haven't been able to stop thinking about them, which that's always a sign that maybe you do really want it. So anyway, I just called, I just called the place and they were still available and they closed in like an hour. So I was like, you know what? Let's pull the trigger, let's do it. So Leif is bringing them in right now. He just picked them up and I'm so excited about them. They're so cool. But we are gonna move this ottoman. We're gonna be storing it somewhere because it really just doesn't work in this space. We did decide to float the couch out a little bit. I'm gonna do like a plant right here. And then instead of this, we're gonna have two chairs right there. Baby girl, I'm obsessed. You guys, these were half price today. This was meant to be. Oh. What, Your what flashlight's on. You can like swing in them. It's a bump swing. Just do this, see? Mm -hmm. it's like and we can put like a pillow on him. Uh-huh. Wait, do you like that? You like that better? It matches you. You're gonna scratch it amazing with your claws. I love these chairs so much from every angle. We still need to get some more decor pieces. This is not finished, but we're starting to fill up the shelves. I think it looks really cute. And I just put this basket over here to fill up with some blankets. We're going to get some breakfast right now at Malibu Farm, which there's one in Newport, um, in that area that I was telling you guys about yesterday. So today it was supposed to be my San Diego trip, which is getting pushed for the third time. So we are gonna go now next week so that'll be a next week's vlog our little san diego day trip i guess now that you're seeing this if you guys have any san diego recommendations of like cute places we should go to eat or any thrift consignment stores anything like that please let me know in the comments because now i can get your guys recommendations before we go but yeah that's happening next week now it's been pushed like we're like okay we're not meant to go to san diego this week because everything seems to be against that so anyway we're going to breakfast right now my mom was just here for a few hours she left last night and it was so fun to have her for the day i wish she could have stayed longer but it was fun to just have like a little a little day with her because i haven't gotten to like i don't know spend time with her recently especially just her coming up and like helping me with decor or anything usually my family comes and we do stuff as a family but anyway it was just really nice so i'm happy she could come on a little spontaneous day trip I am ending the vlog right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was one of my favorite vlogs. It was a good week, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the San Diego adventures and for next week's vlog. Can't wait. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you don't want to miss out. But I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.